I haven't been spending a lot of time. I don't know if you can see the light. It's probably not very good, but that's right at 100 there. And it's actually hotter than that, but that's the moment. So the, anyway, there's another gadget somebody gave me. It's a pressure washer. He said that the pump works, but the uh, engine doesn't start. Well, that's probably a carburetor like everything else. But anyway, this is my little new little toy I got here. Got it yesterday. Uh, not very big. I think it's a model 109 or something like that. What's a little sticker on the side? Can you see that? Yeah, that's what it is. Not a very big little gizmo. Um, I think it's all here. Uh, came with three chucks. I've got a bunch of gears, change of gears in the house. We'll look at some of that stuff here in a minute. I don't think that's original. But anyway, it runs. I had it running and everything. But the thing is, the guy told me that it belonged to his granddad, and um, his granddad did machine work. Obviously, this wasn't high class machine work for this. But anyway, his granddad died uh, 30 years ago, and it hasn't been used since. It was sitting in the basement, and it's very gummed up. Nothing works very freely, so I'm going to start. I'm gonna, when I get, I don't want to do it in the house because it. The cleaners and everything, you know, the brake cleaner and everything would stink up the place. My wife would have a fit on that. So I'll probably leave it. I guess more uh, weather is more conducive to working on this thing. And the way we'll get it done. I think, it's, like I said, I think I said it came with three chucks. I just three jaw here and uh, a couple of four jaws in the house. So otherwise, I think it's all everything about the way it should be. Not, high, not very high tech. It's got little planetary gears in here. I'm not even sure how that works. i got to check that out. I think it's... I'm not sure this is right. I think it's hitting on something. But we'll see. And uh, going back in where it's a little cooler. Be back after a while with some more... A little bit more. This is some of the stuff that came with it. Uh, I don't even know what... I don't even know what some of that stuff is. Uh, this might be a little... Maybe that's a miniature wood split or anything. It's not a screw in the wood. Uh, this is probably what, you know, in the UK uh, they refer to spanners as any kind of wrench, but in the, here in the US we refer to spanners as like a specific tool. I'm thinking this is to uh, unscrew your, or to unscrew that chuck out there because it's different. It's not got, doesn't have the Allen. Allen wrenches like the others do. And uh, let's see, I don't know, there's odds and ends in here. This big old uh, parting tool, it, that wouldn't fit that little bitty one. He must, they must have come with something else. But uh, anyway, and a few things, extra jaws here for something rather than that. And there's quite a few, uh, I don't know what, I think that must be a, a boring bar of some kind. This is considerably smaller than my other one. Now, first off, bear in mind that I'm not an expert machinist. And this is a little, I think they call it a zero Morris taper. It's very small, you know, compared to some of the others. And, uh, okay, that'll be, that's enough for this out. This, this, this box didn't come with it. I had that as a fishing tackle box. Now, this uh, other stuff that came with it, I don't know if that's all the change gears or not. That's what was with it. Got that uh, four jaw. This four jaw on this little plate thing. I don't know what this is for. It's, I don't know what that is. It fits on there. It's got the right threads, but I don't know what the idea of that is. Unless you put, I wouldn't think you want to stick sandpaper on it and grind on that go and grind it. So he said his grandpa made this gadget. It's supposed to fit the uh, where the tool holder goes. It's heavy, big heavy piece of angle iron. I don't know what that would be for. I don't, Unless he used that for, I don't know, tool rest or wood gouges or something. And of course it's got, now this, I don't know what that is. Well, if that goes to this or not, if anybody knows, I, let me know. It's a bent wrench, got little threads on it there. Obviously these are the two chuck tees that go with it. So Anyway, that's the gist of the whole thing there. So I don't know. Uh, I gave him a couple hundred dollars for it. I don't think I got ripped off too bad. I think these chucks are expensive enough to make for the make up for the price if I have to sell it. So. All right, that's it. Thanks for listening.